Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome to another Premier League prediction video. Um, you know, it's pushing right near the crucial end now. Um, two teams are down from the Premier League. It's obviously Huddersfield and Fulham. Um, did Fulham do enough spending all that money to try and stay in the Prem? Now, that's where I think you could look at teams again. I didn't spend enough, but um, I spent a bit too much and it didn't quite work out. Um, but guys, anyway, as I said, a big important week of the Premier League. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first goal guys try to predict and you can already tell it behind me is Leicester versus Newcastle. Um, you know, Leicester playing ever so well at late. Um, Winning this weekend just gone. If I can't remember who played and who didn't because of the FA Cup. Um, but going up against a very dodgy Newcastle side. Um, now what I mean by dodgy is you never know what Newcastle team you're going to, going to get. Um, you know, it's one of them things where you could go to a game and Newcastle could turn up. But you then you go to another game and then Newcastle don't turn up. So for this one, I'm predicting a Leicester win and I'm predicting a 2 0 Leicester win. The next one is Spurs versus Huddersfield. Spurs winning their first game at their new stadium against Crystal Palace. Um, they're playing Champions League there tonight against Manchester City. Uh, it's their second home game in their new home so you know it's going to be a great night for Tottenham I personally think um, I'm going up against relegated Huddersfield uh, you know where do you go with Huddersfield it's been a very dodgy season for Huddersfield um, you know it's 14 points you know I expect to pick up more. Their, their mistake, I personally think, is where they got rid of Tom Ince and didn't quite find a replacement. If they kept Tom Ince, I think it would have been, um, you know, they would have, been, they would have stayed up. Um, but as far as the scoreline goes, I'm going to predict a Spurs win and I'm expecting quite a high Spurs win. And I'm going for a 4-0 Spurs win. The next one is the South Coast Derby. Well, I'll call it South Coast Derby. You can make your mind up. Uh, you know, you can call it South Coast, or you don't have to. It's Brighton versus Bournemouth. Um, Bournemouth loses two games back to back, going on the downer at this present time. Um, you know, Brighton loses to Manchester City in the FA Cup semi final. Uh, which if you follow me on social media, you know I would have attended. Um, you know, Brighton did play brilliantly in the second half. If they play like that in this game, I can, I can actually see Brighton winning this game. But if it's anything like the first half, you are looking at quite a balanced game. Um, but I'm going to predict Brighton to win this one. And I'm going to predict a 2-0 Brighton win. The next one is Burnley versus Cardiff. Um, you know, relegation fight for both of these clubs. Cardiff on 29, Burnley on 33. Um, if Brighton win this weekend and Burnley win this weekend, that'd be 36 points. Uh, the only two teams that would be on 33, I think, is Newcastle and Southampton. Um, but I believe the relegation battle is between these two clubs. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going to go for a Burnley win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Burnley win. The next one is Fulham versus Everton. Now, as I mentioned at the top of this video, Fulham have been relegated. Nothing they can do. Um, Everton beats an Arsenal this weekend. Uh, I watched the game. Um, you know, was Arsenal up there with their expectations? I don't think so. Uh, I really do even think they might just slip out that top four if they play anything like that through the rest of their season. 
Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going to go with an Everton win. And I'm going to go with a 3-0 Everton win. The next one is Southampton versus Wolves. Uh, you know, Wolves losing in the FA Cup semi-final this weekend as well against Watford. Uh, well done to Watford and Manchester City for making it to the FA Cup final. Um, you know, Wolves had a two-goal lead, um, 70 minutes gone. Uh, and then Wolves, uh, what, sorry, Watford brought it back, uh, made it 2 all, and then Watford stole it in extra time. Um, you know, where do I think this game's going? I'm going to stick up f uh, for Wolverhampton for this game. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Man United versus West Ham. I think this is going to be an incredible game, no matter which way you look at it. West Ham have got a very attacking threat now, as well as Man United. Um, Andy Cole's out for the rest of the season for West Ham. Uh, you know, it's been pretty much said that. Um, but... I'm going to call this a draw. I'm going to call it a one-all draw as well. The next one is Crystal Palace vs Manchester City. As I've said, Man City FA Cup finalists. Uh, they will have a game in hand over Liverpool. Will that be key come the title race? We'll have to wait and see. Um, you know, Crystal Palace... They do okay and they don't. It's really up up down Palace side. But I'll go stick up for the blue side of Manchester for this one. And I'm gonna go for a 3 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Watford versus Arsenal. London Derby. My dark horse is Watford, as I've said, made it to the FA Cup final gun up against Arsenal, who lost away this weekend. Uh, to Everton, so you know it's gonna be one of them games. I think but I'm gonna stick up for Watford. Um, I'm gonna give them the result, and I'm gonna go for a two 0 Watford win. I think Vicar Road might just be a bit tough for Arsenal than what people are gonna think. Um, my last game for this weekend um, is Liverpool versus Chelsea. Now Liverpool have to win this game to keep the pressure on Manchester City. Chelsea have to win it to keep the pressure on that top four spot. Uh, Rumours that Hazard could be leaving for Real Madrid. I'll get more to that in a minute. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. Um, right, just a couple of things to update you on. Um... As from next season, there will be Champions League and Europa League uh, predictions and updates for all English clubs. Um, there is a lot more to come next season. I'm working on it. Um, you know, so as from next season, there could be possibly three to four uploads a week uh, or just a slightly two. Um, but all of that will come clear next season. Uh, while I remember, I'd like to thank all you guys for your support. You've been absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, let's see this season out on a high. Um, you know, put in the comments uh, uh, below as well. Would you like to see a couple of my vlogs now it's coming the end of the season? That way you get to see what team I support. There is some on my channel already. Uh, Scarve a look. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want to see me do more vlogs, especially now it's towards the end of the season. Um, so big games coming up. Um, you know, a new ground I'm going to. Um, we've got Arsenal away. Um, last game, last away game of our season. So you can roughly tell who I support. But put, put it down below to, uh, to let me know you'd like to see that. But guys, I'm going to end this video here. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.